Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about the rides I think Baby Jim Amusement Park should build for three seekers. Of course you have the Zip Pippin and Yo-Yo, but we need more thrilling rides. Okay, to start off the list, we have a, a, this is a Sky Coaster. Well, this ride ain't cheap. The Nebula Z costs eight, $800, $800, so to build this is nothing really. A Sky Coaster is three towers, two side by side, and one in the back to bring riders up. It hoists one to three riders up the back tower. The ride, the riders pull a cord, and then they drop down, swinging back and forth. They could, they could put it over the bay and call it the Bay Swing. That'd be a good name. Now, for the next ride I have on this list is a Larson Super Loop. Larson, the Larson Loops are uh, is just a loop where riders are moved back and forth on a track that can roll, flip, and stall. This would be a, this would be a good inverting ride in the park, since, since Bay Beach doesn't have any inverting rides. Now, staying on the Larson train, it's a Larson Super Shot. The Super Shot is a drop tower that looks small but packs a punch. It doesn't stop at the top. Instead, it just drops you down. It has a reflective panel that blocks sight on the top of the tower, so so you don't know when it will drop. Next up, we have a Vomitron or Skyscraper ride. Now this ride is crazy. It's a pole connected to an arm with a spinning gondola on each end of the arm. It would give a thrilling addition to the park that could also give the inversions that the park needs. Well, it's not a tracked ride. Well, it's not a flat ride. A tracked ride baby should use a log flume. Now, it's mainly for families, but this log flume could pack a punchy, sweeping drop. Not the best, but a log flume would pack the thrills that this park needs desperately. Now, for the final ride I have on this list, I have an air race, a flipping plane ride that goes up a tower back down while flipping you around and around again. This, all of these rides would be a very good and cheap and compact addition to the park. Maybe we should really consider adding these rides in in the upcoming future. I hope you had a good time watching, and I will see you on the next video.